shows up unexpected never calls ahead one bright morning there you'll find her on your doorstep dressed in red brings a spray of purple aster jug of cider maybe wine and all you know his autumn's looking fine. Autumn always brings you presents. Bag of apples, pumpkin pie. She takes you out to climb the mountain. Silhouetted on the sky. Harvest moon above the hills. Boulder iron burning bright Autumn shows you magic in the night Sometimes melancholy Sometimes cheerful, sometimes chill When she greets you in the morning Never know what face she will be wearing but those constant changes should to keep you on your toes who you'll meet tomorrow only autumn knows Autumn wants to wander, here to visit, not to stay. Restless feet and swirling skirts, here's the call then on her way. Fire burning on the hearth, glowing coals to warm the evening still. The world's a little colder. When autumn leaves Days are growing longer Winds are blowing stronger It's time for winter's song When autumn leaves Thank you. Hello, Hopkinson. Hello. I'm glad you all came today because today I'm going to introduce you to a new form of medley. I call it popular philosophical poetry. And for this performance, I have to assume a new identity. Down at an English fair, one evening I was there when I heard a showman shouting underneath the flare. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. There they are standing in a row. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Give them a twist, a flick of the wrist. That's what the showman said. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, they're lovely, there they are standing in a row, one, two, three, four, big ones, small ones, some as big as your head, and bigger, give them a twist, a flick of the wrist, 
That's what the showman said. Did you ever try to change a person? You know, make him into something that he's not? Now, I firmly believe that God created us as unique individuals. Each and every one of us a perfect masterpiece. And I wouldn't change that for the world. I wrote a small poem that expresses my beliefs on the subject. I call it, Who Can I Be? Who can I be if I can't be me? If I can't be free to be just me? Who can I be if I can't be free to be just me? I can't be you, because you're not me, and only I can ever be me. So who can I be if I can't be free to be just me? Thank you very much. Hopkinton. O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll drove with a song, the wild duck and the drake, from the tall tufted reeds of Drear Heart Lake. He saw how the, how the reeds grew dark with the coming of night tide, and he dreamt of the long dim hair of Bridget, his bride. Then he heard it, high up in the air, a piper piping away. And never was piping so sad, and never was piping so gay. Then he saw young men and young girls dance in a level place, and Bridget, his bride, among them, with a sad and a gay face. The dancers gathered around him, and many a sweet thing said. A young man brought him red wine, and a young girl, white bread. But Bridget drew him by the sleeve, away from the merry band, to old men playing of cards with a twinkling of ancient hands. The bread and the wine had a doom, for these were the host of the air. He sat and played in a dream of, of her long, dim hair. He played with the merry old men and thought not of evil chance, till one bore Bridget his bride away to the merry dance. He bore her away in his arms, the handsomest young man there, and his lips and his neck and his arms were drowned in her long, dim hair. O'Driscoll scattered the cards, and out of his dream awoke, and old men and young men and young girls were gone, like a drifting smoke. Then he heard it high up in the air, a piper piping away. And never was piping so sweet, and never was piping so sad, and never was piping so gay. One of the themes that I pick up on from our feature uh, was uh, falling in love. This is, a, this is a love poem between an old man and a young woman. Someone needs to say those things. And so, there it is. Thank you. Oh, I get sleep in Maggie. Oh, I get sleep in Maggie for 
are wild. The wind blows through my veins. It's roaring o'er the warlock craggy murk. Is the night and there's no stars in crying lightning's gleam. Athwart the lift and winds they drive. With winter's fury I cross the moor for to meet my Maggie. Oh, are you sleeping, Maggie? Oh, are you sleeping, Maggie, for wild? The wind blows through my veins, it's roaring o'er the warlock craggy. Fearful soars the boar tree bank, the rifted wood roars wild and dreary and loud, the iron gates does clank and cry the hoots that make me eerie. Oh, are you sleeping, Maggie? Oh, are you sleeping, Maggie, for wild? The wind blows through my veins. It's roaring on the warlock craggy. She's opened the door and she's let her lover in and he's cast off his dreaming plaidy blow. Ye worst, ye rain and wind since Maggie knew I am now beside ye. sleeping Maggie oh are you sleeping Maggie for wild the wind blows through my veins it's roaring o'er the boar tree bank new since you've woken yourself uh, Maggie no, you've woken yourself, oh Maggie, oh what care I for who it's cry for poor tree bank or warlock craggy. Are you sleeping, Maggie? <laughs> Love spread your wings. Love, spread your wings, come fly away with me in your dreams. Leave them all behind, your troubles and your tears, you don't need them. Soaring up above the sleeping world below, floating just the way we want to be. You can take me anywhere I'll follow to endless sea, you and me. Love, spread your wings, come fly in your dreams together with me. In this wondrous place, we can be so free together. I know we can be just who we want to be. Find a peace and joy and maybe start again, again with no one but each other 
in endless sky, you and I. Love, spread your wings, come fly in your dreams together with me. Leave your cares below, gathering dust on earth while we float above together. Love, spread your wings. Ooh. Thank you. This show will be flamboyant. The MC wearing top hat, white gloves, and coattails emphatically announces, you have never experienced anything like this before. He is standing on a pile of paper while a list of these documents is scrolling up behind him. A marriage certificate, a divorce settlement, journal entries, tax returns, clippings from newspapers like reviews of maybe other shows he's done, um, and finally, a birth certificate. I am about to demonstrate the answer to a question. Is one's persona that cavalcade of facades that each of us presents to meet the demands of a situation that each of us finds ourselves in, is that anchored by the documents tied to each of those situations? I offer myself as a subject of this experiment. His white hand gloves holds a book of matches. The lights dim except for a spotlight on his hands and the matches as he tears one out and rubs it vigorously against the striking strip on the book and drops the lit match onto the pile of paper. Now I find myself examining the word he used in the beginning, flamboyant. Flammable plus buoyant, a volatile linkage. And I wonder, is he somehow going to rise above the flames? And if that's what's going to happen, I don't even care if I could see the, the wires holding him up. I just want entertainment. Or are we going to witness a new form of self-immolation? That would certainly go beyond the bounds of entertainment. Will that pile of paper ignite? Well, it does. And the MC has disappeared. And somehow it's like my entire frame of reference has disappeared. I don't know if I have been in a theater or watching this show on TV. I'm just aware of the darkness surrounding me, faintly illuminated by the spotlight on the pile of ashes. I feel something on the top of my head. I reach up to retrieve a top hat and notice the white gloves on my hands and look down to see coattails. The show must go on! <laughs> Thank you. If you move past this point, everything will change. Do you have anything to declare? Is there a line here? Is it not visible? Is there a line here to cross? What is expected? You would think the entrances, and especially the exits, would be clearly marked. What is your name, please? Do you have anything to declare? The old part of the city was surrounded by a wall. But it does not say in the guide whether it was meant to be to keep people in or out. All of this, of course, is immaterial. Lines have been drawn. Laws have been established. If you pass this point, everything will change. It's by Dan Lewis. I went to a funeral today. Dalen is dead. 
White tux all decked out, black face stands out, flowers pastel. I've never been to a funeral for a murder victim, but that's him lying cold, 21 years old. City streets, potholes, bullseye, bullet holes, torn down street signs, tired unemployment lines, poverty that binds young men to this place. Look at his face, just starting to find his way in this turnabout, dropout, tree ripped out neighborhood, tried to do good, he knew he could make the world a better place, make himself a man of grace. Piedmont man, king of Queen Street, family man going out to eat, Ants Place, Chandler Street, little cousin five years sweet, watch Dalen's life come undone. Man with a gun, 24 years young, got to make things right after a good for nothing fight, got spat on, got disgraced, so he fired eight bullets to the face. Now another young man sleeps for keeps. Another woman weeps and the people cry because tomorrow another sorrow, another young man will die. We are rubbing our hands together like sticks. We are pacing the room. We are breathing in sputters, in gusts, never sure if the words in our heart will form sparks when we speak or fall flat and mute to the floor. We are summoning the boldness to stand out loud, to leave our shelter. There's no risk of being extinguished if you've never burned a light. We are stumbling in the dark, proclaiming with each small step, we are worth this time and the courage we clench in our fists. We are fighting what is, struggling toward what may be, knowing we hold the power to become a flame, our voices strong and soft enough to sing this glint into fire. Thank you. Uh, have you ever heard the expression, fake it till you make it? Yeah. Uh, this is my fake it to make it song. I've been singing it a lot recently. And I hope you can sing it with me. It'll come up four times. I spread my wings when the sun comes up. The whole world spins in my coffee cup. I've got a magic wand from the Milky Way. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. Sing it the next time I come into round. Dandelions like powder puffs. It's a perfect time to fall in love. A bluebird song and a feather spray. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. Don't you feel better now? I displace that grief with the will to care. I shed my thief we call despair. Here comes the dawn, I'm unafraid. 
wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Yeah. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day when I can turn myself around. Make things better than I found. Please lend a hand, there's a lot to do. A tree to plant and an attitude. A heart to mend and a world to save. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day Wake up, it's a grand new day It's a grand new day It's a grand new day Wake up, it's a grand new day It's a grand new day. Cinderella's Castle, and every day on Main Street there's a parade without politicians. Just mice, some dogs, and a conscience-driven cricket when you wish upon a star. At the Muppet 3D Theater, a little yellow bird swoops from the screen and hovers before us. My mother laughs delighted. To hear her laugh again, she is the first woman I loved and the one I have loved the longest. Poolside at the Caribbean Disney Resort, I drink Diet Coke and listen to steel drums. Vacation in Florida. It's a small world after all. Thank you. Peach and pear.